The South Bay, it's been nearly a month and a half since the water district declared that drought emergency. They told everybody to start saving water, but this evening we are learning that so far the savings have been pretty small. KPX 5's Devin Feely joins us live now from the Lexington Reservoir with the details. Devin? Yeah, Brian, we were all supposed to reduce the amount of water that we were using by 15%. Now, the early report card isn't great. People living in Santa Clara County have only achieved a fraction of those savings. And the overriding concern is the time to get this right, much like water itself, is in short supply. It only takes one look at any of Santa Clara County's reservoirs to see how serious the water shortage is. They are collectively down 75% compared to a normal year. But this could be just as bad as COVID in its own way. Running out of water, think of lack of business confidence. Think about what happens to folks when they have no water. The Santa Clara Valley Water District declared a drought emergency last month. The initial response, however, was lackluster. In June, water usage went down just 6%. Our residents tend to eventually respond pretty good. Uh, yes, it's at 6% right now, but let's give it a couple months. Gary Crimmin with the Water District's board says much of the savings will eventually come from how much we cut back on watering our landscaping. I've decided to uh, let my back lawn die off. Alan Arnone says he's conserving in a myriad of ways inside and outside his home, but not all of his neighbors are doing the same. I walk every morning, early in the morning, and, uh, you know, I see that there's a lot of overspray onto the sidewalk. The water district says there are some encouraging signs that the need to conserve is sinking in. They've received more than 800 applications for their landscape rebate program and nearly 500 requests for free water saving devices like low flow shower heads and more than 150 reports of people and businesses wasting water. The water savings so far have trickled in and almost everyone agrees that much more will need to be done before the drought is over. I think that uh, a lot of people are have so much money invested in their in their lawn and their in their yards and they put a lot of money into it and they just really don't want to give that up so they keep they keep watering anyway. Now the emphasis right now is on education but believe me if the conservation numbers don't come up and quickly we will quickly leapfrog over education and go right to enforcement. At Lexington Reservoir Devin Feely KPIX 5.